what are the types of organ transplantations now there are mostly four different types of organ transplantations autologous transplants syngenic transplants allogenic transplants and xenogenic transplants autologous transplants are also called autografts auto meaning self in greek the transfer of tissue or organ from one site to another within the same organism is called autografting. The common example is skin grafting. It takes place when some of the body's skin is damaged, maybe due to wounds, burns, infections, skin cancer or any other reason. The surgical removal of the damaged skin is followed by skin grafting from the donor site. Then we have syngenic transplants or isografts. This is a transfer between identical monozygotic twins. Now syn means together or united in Greek. And syngenic means genetically similar or identical. And hence they are immunologically compatible, especially so closely related that transplantation does not provoke an immune response. So we can say these are the least complicated transplants because there is no risk of rejection. Bone marrow transplant is a very common example. Then we have allogenic transplants or homografts. Now allo means other in Greek. Now this can be described as a transfer between genetically different individuals, but within the same species. For example, one human to another. Allogenic stem cell transplant use donor stem cells. Now, this is the most common type of allogenic transplant. The stem cells come from a donor whose tissue type closely matches yours. Blood taken from placenta and umbilical cord of newborns is also a type of allogenic transplant. This small volume of cord blood has a high number of stem cells that tend to multiply quickly. Cord blood transplants are done for both adults and children. Now on the fourth spot we have xenogenic transplants or heterografts. Now xenos comes from the Greek word meaning foreign or strange. Now it is described as a transfer between animals of different species. For example from pigs to humans. It is also called a xenotransplantation. The limited supply of donor organs is still a primary problem in all transplantations. So the potentials of xenotransplantation have been intensively researched. But immediate rejection due to preformed antibodies and complement is a huge hurdle. So in order to prevent hyperacute rejections, researchers are attempting to produce transgenic pigs. Now the xenotransplantation of human tumor cells into immunocompromised mice is a research technique which is frequently used in preclinical oncology research. So these were the four different types of organ transplantations. You learn something new every single day with scardia.com. So stay tuned.